Novice Matt for Macro Gourmet Meats. Green light. Ready. Racing. Galway Typhoon stepped beautifully straight to the lead. Solo Miss trying to join it. So too truly unique. And wider out there was Rumble Street as they go to the first turn. They've beaten Galway Typhoon for speed pace and it's dropped out. Rumble Street took the lead into the back. Got away by two and a half on truly unique. Three away then Doc Graham rolling to third. Getting past Bon Zephyr. And then came Galway Typhoon going nowhere. From Solo Miss and further back was four exceptional. And Mac Gallon is the last one. They're entering the home straight though. And Rumble Street does it stylishly. Comes away. Rumble Street too good for Doc Graham. Third was truly unique and fourth in Galway Typhoon, followed by Solo Miss Bon Zephyr for exceptional or for exceptional. And last of all is Mac Gallon. Wow, about 29.9. That's a great run. Six Rumble Streets come right away. The last section will be really strong because that was the uh, most impressive part of the win, I would suggest. 29.91 overall. Early 5.64 and 11.68. Pass Ron Ball at $3.50. Before they come, opening event went to the favourite Rumble Street, number six for Jeff Cumming, went 29.91. 29.91 by the first winner, Rumble Street, who led from the first turn and went home a really strong last sectional of uh, 12.59. 11, yeah, 12.59. Green lights on now. Set. Off they go. You can talk. Bounced out nicely. Tackle and headed though by Bellissimo Bell who shoots to the front and Commando Charles goes up into third placing. Round the first corner they go. Bellissimo Bell railed keenly. Got away by two. You can talk in hot pursuit. Three away came Star Speed and then Ninja Racer and going between them there was uh, High and Mighty. Well back now is Flick Pass from Bally Swift and Commando Charles dropped out last. Bellissimo Bell in front. You can talk is the margin abbreviator. You can talk and Bellissimo Bell and flying out wide High and Mighty. Got the lot of them, I'd say. High and mighty, I'd say, from Bellissimo Bell and You Can Talk. Fourth in star speed, just in front of Flick Pass. And then came Ninja Racer, Bally Swift, and Commando Charles was last. Down the outside at the rate of knots, number seven, high and mighty. Ooh, gee, it hasn't got there yet. The threes, <laughs> the threes, heads come down at the right time. No, the seven's got it. Seven on the outside, high and mighty, just from number three, Bellissimo Bell, who kicked gamely all the way to the water. No, 12 years of um, 520 metre racing there in Raging Obsession. The third fastest one. Queen Lauren holds the record at 30.01. Dashing Corsair in 30.11 there one night. And Raging Obsession went 30 and 16, which was inside Surf Lorien's previous record. He held the record before Queen Lauren. Anyway, back to business here. Green light. Ready. They're racing. Raging Obsession begins nicely. Goes to the lead. Miner's Moss coming down the outside and Tuscany Sally is up into third placing but Raging Obsession railed magnificently into that turn and dashed away by four. Absolute Boss comes to second. Two to Bodyline third. A goodly margin then to Duchess Dora followed by Miner's Moss and then Ben's House. Tuscany Sally. Pearl Zarzinga dropped out last. Raging Obsession comes to the home turn. Six lengths in front of Bodyline and Absolute Boss and Raging Obsession gives another brilliant display. Raging Obsession by five. Body line is second, Absolute Boss third, Duchess Dora working home to get fourth, then Ben's House, Miner's Moss, and they were followed by Pearl Zarzinger and Tuscany Sally, and it's going to be about a 29 8 run. Three Raging Obsession, 260 and 130. Two Body Line, $1.30. Four Absolute Boss, 230. And. 7 4 Duchess Dora, 3 2 4 7, 29 and 83. The just keeps getting out on the toe down to 4 10 now. 6 a 5 Rascal Flash firming into 260 is the clear cut favourite. Now 220, there you go. 5 Rascal Flash, 220, 8 Wing Delete, 470, 6 Tweed Bar Day at 570. Green light, Brisbane Race 4, set. Racing. Out fast there was Rascal Flash is going to spear through Japelli punching up on the inside to try and hold it out. Hopes fed as he went to third and winged a lead over onto the fence in a challenging position. More than that, railed the ears off them and took the lead. Into the back and winged a lead out by two. Rush of power coming after it. Third then was Japelli followed by Rascal Flash who's struggling. Back then came Spring Colorado, Hopes fed as he star liner and Tweed Bar Day. Winged a lead in sparkling form. Corners for the judge, well clear and winged a lead. Winged a lead impressive again. Second, oh big finish. Rush of Power, Spring Colorado and the flying finish of Tweed Bardet are all there in a clump. Behind them Starliner with Giappelli and also Rascal Flash who was struggling a fair way from home in Spring Colorado. Number 8. 
Actually, the three's closer than, than, than I first thought. Spring Colorado, it's up closer. So it's eight wing delete from a big finish. Um, 30.09's the time. So very little between them, and dramatic miss number four now gets out to 9.20. First leg of the quaddy, they're coming forward at the 5.20 metres mark. And by. Last of them goes in. We now have a dollar ninety. Number one, Late Angel Lee, and new gleam out to two sixty. Green light. They're off. Beginning fast was RG Lass, and down the outside is New Gleam, and Late Angel Lee's going to punch up, and well, there's the first surprise is going to lead. Out of the straight, Late Angel Lee by a length on New Gleam, and a length away third then was TJ's Grand. They're clear of a Riger legend who got through to fourth. Followed well back by Dramatic Miss, and then Smart Babe semi Earner and RG Lass, the last one. Late Angel Lee took off. It's home and hose, Late Angel Lee. Round the corner, bolted away from New Gleam and TJ's Grand, and Late Angel Lee. There's the F factor again. Freak. Late Angel Lee by eight. Second went to New Gleam, third or like a legend, fourth in dramatic miss. They're just walking before the catching pen there. Semi earner behind those with Smart Babe, also um, RG Lass, and uh, up ahead of a couple of those TJs. Grand. Well, a script rarely works out, does it? If somebody had said to you, Lad Angel Lee will lead at the first turn, you'd have said, go and lock him up. Now, we've got a 29, 29.57. 29.57 sends me scurrying for the record. And that equals the track record of made to size. Equals the track record, 29.57. Thompson, Breeder and Rara. Darren Titmarsh, now the trainer. Big effort by the team. And the dog, of course, himself. Green light, 3.50, Mr Garcia, ready. Racing. Mr. Garcia out nicely. So was Bill's Mystery. Sneaky Bonanza trying to get through, but Bill's Mystery shoots to the lead going into the first turn. He got a little bit wide, and Mr. Garcia up to join him along the fence. Couple of lengths away, passing paws coming to third. Then Sneaky Bonanza, Rainbow Rex got well out of it with Big Dak, and then Bit Barmy. Nice mover is the last one. Off the back, and Mr. Garcia forged away from Bill's Mystery by a length and a half, and they're clear of passing paws, and then came Rainbow Rex, but Mr. Garcia the front runner, and Mr. Garcia too good by a length and a half. Bill's Mystery second, Rainbow Rex got home for third and passing pause would wind up fourth. Behind them then came Big Dak, Sneaky Bonanza, well back nice mover in company with Bit Barmy. Well just kept getting out of the market, Mr Garcia, but it didn't stop him winning. 3.40 and 1.40 for Sandra Hunt. Two Bill's Mystery at 3.20. Four Rainbow Rex at $1.70 and seven passing pause looks to have run fourth. So the first four players looking at one, two, four. The third race, the number three, Raging Obsession, Selena Zammett at 2.30. The fourth, the number eight, Winged Elite, John Hutchinson, 4.40. Race five, number one, Late Angel Lee, Darren Titmarsh, around the even money mark. And Mr Garcia in a run one race six for Sandra Hunt, paid $3.40. So popular so far in the quaddy, one on one. Late Angel Lee and Mr Garcia as we come into the third leg. And Spirited Flames, a short price favourite here at 150 for Chris Reardon. Green light. They're ready. Off now. Spirited Flame away nicely, punching up on the inside, but going fast is Betty's Memory. And joined now and headed by Spirited Flame as they come to the judge a lap to go. Spirited Flame a length and a half, Betty's Memory and Bellagio led into the fray and then came Chase, who's very, very wide. Kulos sneaking up on the fence, now getting to about third. Well back is Never Tell with Charter and Shoelaces Lady the last one. Coming off the back and Spirited Flame out by two lengths on Bellagio Lad. Three or four away came Never Tell running on resolutely and they're clear of Kulos who's only plugging in the straight though. Spirited Flame Flame is clear, she's too good, and Spirited Flame by two, Bellagio Ladder Gallant second, Never Tell third, Kulos fourth, Chase ran fifth, and then came Charter, they were followed by Shoelaces Lady, and Betty's memory dropped out to be one of the last home. All the ones in the quaddy so far, Spirited Flame 160 and 120. One six and three. You'll end up with about probably a 20 or 25 percent bonus. Yeah, 31,056 now the pool as they move in. Hello, it's gone up to over 55,000. Wow. Green light on. Set to go. 
and they're away. Top Story missed it. Cecil Henry out in a big hurry. Going fast is Captain Clary. And Top Story now charging through the pack. Getting to third. Gout went very wide on the course. Hawko's mistake was checked back to the rear. Into the back and Captain Clary took the lead. A length and a half. Top Story. Between them Yogi Blue and the rails is Cecil Henry. Clear of coin of phrase. And further back then came Thunder Rocks as a time. And Hawko's mistake is last. Captain Clary in front around the turn. Yogi Blue might be the threat. Captain Clary in front of Yogi Blue. Top Story late. But Captain Clary's night tonight. Captain Clary beat um, Top Story Coin of Phrase and Yogi Blue have battled out third and fourth then Cecil Henry as a time Thunder Rocks and Hawko's Mistake Captain Clary at $7.30 puts some semblance of value now into your exotics five Captain Clary for Peter Roichi $7.30 and $2.60 four Top Story $1.30 and three Yogi Blue $1.50 four Gangnam Stride $5.20 and number five Golfing Amy $7.50 and number eight Moss Gambos at $8 so they're the Greyhounds most prominent in the market. Ipswich Greys tomorrow. Rockhampton Gallops in the afternoon. Ipswich Greys is a twilight card. Okay, in they go. Camille Lestata switches on the green light at the 600 metre mark. $3 number one, fog light. They're ready. Off. Fog light began brilliantly. Straight through and shoots out and sets up a commanding lead early doors. From Mega Rose High and then came Space Wave and Moss Gambos into the fray. Further back then was My Illusion. Well back golfing Amy, Gangnam Stride and Alex the Great is one of the last. Into the back they go. And Fog Light by a length. Trying hard is Space Wave. Third then hooking out wide Moss Gambo who's normally a strong finisher and have a look at My Illusion whizzing around them. Followed there by Mega Rose High and further back was Gangnam Stride there on the point of the home turn and My Illusion and Moss Gambo with big speed. Sweeps have gone up with Moss Gambo taking the lead. My Illusion makes a lunge. Oh, I don't know really. Moss Gambo the inside and My Illusion, I'd only be guessing. Uh, Gangnam Stride and Mega Rose High battled out third and fourth, followed by Space Wave Alex the Great. Back behind them then came Gangnam Stride and... Uh, ooh. No, I can't pick that, sorry. We'll leave it to the judge. She'll have the verdict very, very briskly in this era of finish links. It's a closey, a real closey. Two's got it, my illusion on the outside. Well, actually, had I, if I had a go, I would have gone Moss Gambo, so I didn't, I'm glad I didn't have a go. Forward they come at the 5.20 metre mark. Incidentally, Steve Hawkins will be hosting, uh, doing a live host from Ipswich on uh, Saturday night on Sky 2. Interviews with the trainers, etc. Three, Fusei Ichi Khan, 2.10, Greyhound 3. Five, Zali Rose, 3.50, two elusive strike, 4.20. Green lights on. Last at the creek. They're off. And elusive strike began brilliantly. Tackled by the favourite Fuseiichi Khan. And now around the outside, Late Show Angel trying to get up around to about to uh, third placing. And in fact got to fourth. Zali Rose just ahead of it. Then came only a cent and early show and General Bacon is last. Coming to the top turn, elusive strike out by a length. Fuseiichi Khan not sure whether to go inside or outside. Now it's searching for the inside. And further back came Zali Rose. It's elusive strike still in front of Fuseiichi Khan who dived. Oh, I'll go the inside. I'll go Fusei Ichikan and Nose to Elusive Strike. Third, I'd say Zali Rose in front of um, Late Show Angel. And behind them, Early Show with only a set in General Bacon. Close one. I'll go the inside to get the stride in. Close go. Heads up, heads down. Yeah, see, right on the wire, the, the, the two dogs' head goes up and the threes comes down. And it might get it. Photo. Between three... Fusaichi Khan at 2.20 and number two, Elusive Strike at 3.40. No result as yet. Three's got it. Fusaichi Khan.